fire to destroy them. So as a dialysis patient, you're going to go through surgeries. It's unavoidable. Every patient has surgeries. So this particular surgery is called a fistulogram. So occasionally from time to time, um, your, I can't speak on fistulas because I don't, I don't have a fistula. I have a graft. I have a graft, right? So grafts are like made of artificial materials. Occasionally what happens over time is that they narrow, sometimes they have they, they get clotted, or sometimes there's things called stents in the arm to keep the vessel open so that way you can actually do dialysis. Occasionally those stents bend and they can cause a blockage which can stop you from doing dialysis. This is but the procedure is called a fistulogram. As you saw, um, the procedure doesn't take very long, but as you can see that my arm is very swollen. Yes, it was painful. Eventually the swelling does go down. If it does not, you need to seek a medical professional immediately. You need to talk to your surgeon, talk to your doctor immediately if the swelling doesn't go down. But eventually the swelling does go down. Yes, it is painful. Yes, you are sore. And yes, it's terrible. I had that one done. It's February now as the recording of this video. I had that one done in January, but I had to have another one done in November of last year before that. So each time I have one of these done, they have to cut my arm and they have to go in with their special tools, a camera, sometimes a little balloon and they pump it and it it balloons and it opens up the, the my graft. They put you under light anesthesia so you are semi-awake. They don't put you all the way under. It's a invasive procedure so they have to, you know, uh, they have to uh, put you in an operating room. They prep you, clean the site, all of that stuff. The same thing that they would do for any other procedure. So after the surgery, they put you in a room and so that way the anesthesia can wear off. You usually, um, I know for me, I was out. Uh, it was light anesthesia, but I was out. Like I was out. So they put me in the room, slept it off, you know, and then by then I was, you'll, you're fine afterwards. But there is a lot of swelling. It is very painful. And you can't. You can't anticipate when you're going to need a fistulogram. It kind of just happens, right? So when it does happen, you have to go to the emergency room. With this last trip, I got there at 1134 in the morning. And I didn't leave that. I went to the emergency room. I didn't leave that hospital until 945 that night. It was an extremely long process. And it was not, like, none of this stuff is fun for me, right? You hear all these patients talking about silver lining and, you know, uh, looking on the bright side and all this other stuff. Like, this is not fun. It's not a fun experience for, for me. And I'm assuming that it's not a fun experience for other patients either. That's why it's important for transplant to change immediately. Because with me, I'm an old type blood patient, right? And I'm like African American and all other stuff. But for me, it's like 6.6 .6 as of 6.6 .6 years of waiting as of 2023, as of their numbers for 2023, right? So I am not going to expect the call for many years to come. Which means that there's probably going to more than likely, definitely, just definitely, 
I'm going to need more of these surgeries. And like, no, I'm, none of this, none of this is a good time. Like my, my body's getting all scarred up. You know, I, I don't feel well. And I'd like for this to just be over, you know, get my transplant so that way I could just like have some semblance of a normal life for at least a little while. But if you look closely at um, in the video of the fissilogram, you can see the entry points of where the surgeon went in with his camera and his tools. Sometimes they have to just balloon it. Sometimes they have to put in all brand new stents to keep the opening, to keep the, the vessel open so it doesn't close. So I can like do dialysis. Like for example, if you... look right at this dark spot there that you see you can see the that's where they actually do the dialysis the the track mark right there is where they actually do the dialysis but below that right there is the entry point that the surgeon used to go into my arm the scar underneath is from another fistulogram uh, years ago um, where there was a revision to smooth out my arm because I was having like a, a growth there from um, the surgery. You know, like, like I said, like none of this is fun. You know, like I am in like the formative years of my life where I should be like establishing myself in the world and I'm not doing that because like I'm not doing that exactly because I spend so much time just doing this and having to respond to emergencies and going to emergency rooms and doing surgeries and doing dialysis and getting ready for dialysis and preparing machines for dialysis and talking to doctors and nurses and technicians and it's just like my whole world became, my whole world is this, you know? So it's hard to just, it's challenging to just like fit other things in 